since I am not vegan. I wanted to be vegan and I was vegan before and uh, I've given it up. I'll go into that elsewhere. Here's an egg, a hen's egg. Obviously this is a living being which I'm about to destroy. Right, now the thing about hen's eggs is that you throw away most of the calcium. It is actually possible with everything on this table to make calcium supplement from eggshells. First you get rid of the egg. If you really want to do this veganly you can use wood ash but you need to modify it. Wood ash is quite a good source of calcium carbonate. If you don't want to do it veganly yeah, what you next need to do is to weigh the eggshells like this. Thirty-seven. The next stage is to crush the eggshells. Do not use this. This is marble. This is calcium carbonate. This will dissolve in citric acid. So when you mix it, that won't work. Rather, use one of these. So, put them in there and crush them. Now, it isn't just calcium carbonate, of course. There are also quite a lot of proteins in eggshell and probably various other things as well. And it's unlikely to be have absolutely 0% water in it either, particularly because I've washed them. Now, there is also obviously a risk if you're allergic to eggs and a risk if you are vegan and it's obviously an animal product and there's a risk of it going off as well. Right, well it turns out that I don't have any citric acid as such so I'm going to have to uh, make it from limes. Which is in any case more holistic and more natural so it's no bad thing. Although I am of course going to have to reduce the amount of eggshells I put in. So just one more half of uh, lime to do. And then measure the quantity of lime juice you have left, which is quite a lot. Right, a total of 180 ml of lime juice, just there. There it is. Okay, now that's approximately a glass full. Next thing to do, this is going to be, this isn't going to be pure calcium citrate. It's going to be calcium citrate with a load of egg stuff in it and also with a load of lime stuff in it. So just leave that there for a while to dissolve. Right, there it is after a couple of minutes. Very fizzy because the carbon dioxide in the carbonate has been liberated. And that's now got both citrate ions and calcium ions in it. So the next bit is to filter it. Keep going in that way. And again, and so on. That's it filtered still quite juicy but very rich in uh, lime and calcium so it's citric acid and calcium so calcium citrate is in there in a sense pour it into the bowl turn it on leave it comes to boil and then start stirring it until the liquid is more or less boiled off and this is what is left after we've boiled it down I boiled it down there's let's have a look about 
it's under 10 mil just under 10 mil it's not going to be pure but on the other hand it is going to have flavonoids vitamin C and various other things in it that makes it quite good really so there you go it will go off of course so I'll put a little bit of um tiny bit of rosemary oil on it to protect it to keep it preserved um but you know that's it that's probably I'm not sure how many that will be the equivalent of ooh, maybe 20 grams of uh, calcium carbonate so a bit less than that maybe mm, like four grams so that's about four days worth obviously if it was um dried out if it had been boiled completely it would be much more concentrated but as it is uh under the circumstances of not having any citric acid handy uh that's the best i could do